Here is the original Little Sundays bag, this one I was hand sewing um, in my basement. Hi, I'm Jay Cooper, I'm from Wakina, Illinois, founder of Little Sundays and a CGGA member. So the idea, um, there's like the brand behind it and then the concept behind it. Um, when my daughter was born, I wanted to introduce her to the game kind of the same way I was introduced to the game, just being around the game. Um, and I was sitting at home one, t one day and I, you know, I have all my, I have like a, a, a let's say a golf office, a, a golf office, <laughs> you know, a bunch of golf stuff around. Um, I've always collected golf bags. Uh, I have several Titleist, Pings, um, old ones, new ones. Uh, and I was just sitting there and I was like, I want to get my daughter a golf bag. Um, everything I saw on the market was just, you know, those old, or the, the plastic golf bags or the, the clunky ones with like the backpacks and the kids are hunched over. So like I want to make her uh, a, a golf bag that's more aesthetically pleasing, uh, one functionality and for her. Um, I didn't know really know where to start so I just I bought myself a sewing machine and uh, I started making hand making golf bags at that time. Um, I started with an Etsy page. I had one sale a month and two sales a month. Uh, and then it was kind of taking over. I was getting a lot of sales and it was taking up a lot of my time. I was staying up to like two in the morning making golf bags. Um, I was selling uh, wooden golf clubs with it as well, um, which my dad was helping me make. Uh, and at that time I was like, I need to, I need to, get, I need to find something else or I need to find a, help, a manufacturer to help me make these bags. And that's what I did. And um, so that's where the concept kind of came through is I wanted to get her something that was individually hers and that was more modern to the today's golf bags. Um, and that's kind of also where the name Little Sundays came from. <laughs> the whole branding behind um, Little Sundays is, you know, when I was growing up, it was a lot of um, me and my dad going to the golf course. So those are all the memories uh, I have with golf is making those family connections. Um, big part of Little Sundays was the course across the street was Cog Hill. I grew up five minutes down the road, so we would go there all the time. Um, we would go there. They had the heated range. It was the first place to really have the heated range, so we'd go hit golf balls during the winter. We'd go practice during the summer. Um, we'd go ball hawk on, I think, 11 dubs dread on the, on the street. Uh, we'd go there for hot chocolate. So it was just really, it was just those moments and those memories me and my, my father made together. Um, so I kind of wanted to do that same thing with Little Sundays. Yes, the product is, uh, great and helps introduce kids to the game, but it's really making that family connection between you know, your dad, your mom, your grandpa, your grandpa, or grandma, uh, aunts and uncles, whomever um, you know, is there with you at the course. Uh, and it's not just at the course, but it's off the course too. You know, it's, it's once you're done golfing, it's going to get an ice cream cone or um, you know, going home, going over those memories or those moments from the golf course. So right now we sell um, our, uh, our most of our inventory is uh, the top of the golf bag. So we're kind of reverse engineering, going from the bottom up, um, getting those those uh, customers that want to also get a uh, innovative golf bag for their young one. Uh, I have a visor on there more for the dads or the moms, um, but as we continue to grow, I'd like to get into things that are you know, for the moms, the dads, the grandpas, the grandmas. So it's uh, next up is probably the mid-sized golf bags for the kids that are like six to 10 years old and then adult golf bags as well. Um, so you can mix and match them and then eventually getting to like in uh, accessories such as like uh, tote bags, stuff like merchandise, um, things like that. So when we were working through branding, we named um, our bags, obviously they come in different colors, um, but we wanted to hit that nostalgic kind of um, feel when we were naming them. So we got, here we have the green pistachio putter, uh, we have almond albatross, we have blueberry bunker, strawberry short game, and Sher Sherbert sand trap. When I, again, when I started off, I, I was just hand sewing them, so I, I didn't even know that you could find a manufacturer. So like, that was a big struggle at first. I um, was working through finding the different manufacturers because we had a few samples made and that weren't just really up to par. Um, and then from there also just, again, I'm not, it's not my background. So like Shopify has made 
things very simple to build websites and such, but when you're doing it for the first time, that's all learning experiences. Um, another thing is just running a social media account. Um, we've eclipsed 10K followers just recently, which is pretty crazy to me. Because <laughs> um, like we've started off just making golf bags and we make cute videos, me, my family, and my wife, so it's kind of capturing those moments. Um, so yeah, just handling it all, plus we just had our second child, so going through a full-time job, two little ones, uh, and learning all this stuff is pretty, pretty hard to do, but it's also rewarding as well because, um, yeah, it's just things I've never gone through before, so I'm learning so much that I've never even in my wildest dreams thought, I've, thought I'd learned before. <laughs> it's been great. Um, people, they, one, loved my old bag, loved the new bags, they think, um, they kind of think the same thing as, you know, golf bags haven't been really innovated for children in a very long time, so it's nice to bring it to this day and age. Um, they love the branding, they love the name. Um, I get a lot of like people saying, you know, Sundays are the days that I get to spend with family, and you know, so the name of Little Sundays is is pretty good. <laughs> uh, since launching our new bags, we've we've sold around 300, so it's doing pretty well and we're getting a lot of responses from one thing I think stands out is we do the personalization and embroidery so we've been getting a lot of um, golf courses interested in, in putting these bags into their pro shops and um, which has been pretty cool so we've been able to add logos to bags. For the future this would be a wonderful to have uh, as a full-time gig. Uh, right now I'm just trying to balance it through um, my day job being a dad uh, and running this. If, if I could make it a full-time job making you know, the content and, and running the business, I'd love for that to be uh, in my future. The family connection time, um, you know, my wife doesn't play golf, but it is that family time that we get out there. Uh, she just, you know, she gets to enjoy um, something that I love and hopefully my kids down, the, down the, into the future love as well. Um, so it's just, again, getting the whole family out there, whatever, um, whatever part that they love about it.